Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile, to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob departed from Beersheba and proceeded toward Haran. When he came upon a certain shrine, as the sun had already set, he stopped there for the night. Taking one of the stones at the shrine, he put it under the head and lay down to sleep at that spot. Then he had a dream. A stairway rested on the ground, with its top reaching to the heavens, and God's messengers were going up and down on it. And there was the Lord standing beside him and saying, I, the Lord, am the God of your forefather Abraham and the God of Isaac, the land on which you are lying. I will give to you and your descendants. These shall be as plentiful as the dust of the earth, and through them you shall spread out east and west, north and south. In you and your descendants, all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. Know that I am with you, I will protect you wherever you go, 
and bring you back to this land. I will never leave you until I have done what I promised you. When Jacob awake from his sleep, he exclaimed, Truly, the Lord is in this spot, although I did not know it. In solemn wonder, he cried out, How awesome is this shrine! This is nothing else but an abode of God, and that is the gateway to heaven. Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head, set it up as a memorial stone, and poured oil on top of it. He called the site Bethel, whereas the, fame, the, for, the former name of the town had been lost. Jacob made this vow. If God remains with me to protect me on this journey, I am making and to give me enough bread to eat and clothing to wear. And I come back safe to my father's house. The Lord be my God. This stone that I have set up as a memorial stone shall be God's abode. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, my God, I place my trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he acknowledged my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him. In distress. In you, my God, I place my trust. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter has just died, but come. Lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, 
go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When we were fourth-year high school seminarians, during our discernment retreat, our priest facilitator asked us to bring a candle and a glass, which we will be using for our personal prayer. During our retreat orientation, he gave us this instruction that you can freely design your candle glass so that you can bring it everywhere or during your prayer time. His instruction, an added instruction was to pick a sacred space, bring that candle always with you, and call that place of your prayer, your sacred space, Bethel. From formerly calling the place Luz, Jacob called the place Bethel because God rested there, God was there, God made his dwelling there. Beth in Hebrew is translated as house, El as God. That is why we can have the meaning of Bethel, God's house or house of God. And hopefully, what would one feel whenever he is inside God's house or to places we can consider that it is God's house. Hopefully, there will be assurance, security, we are made better. Such was the experience of Jacob. God's house, Bethel, assured him blessings and guidance to what he will be facing. Similarly, though the raising of the official's daughter happened not inside the house of Jesus, but inside the house of this official, the story is just plain evidence that wherever we are, as we consider that place or those places as God's house, or just by simply saying that God is there, there is assurance there is healing. We can all be raised up. New beginnings are there to await us. In God's house, with God, wherever God is, we are made better, we are healed, assured, and secured. My dear brothers and sisters, we are used to call our places of habitation and rest as house. But more than considering our houses as buildings or places of rest and assurance that we are made well and strengthened there, let it be a home. More than a house, let it be a home because God is there, because it is God's. May it be possible as well that a person is a home, your work is your home, your relations, your friendship is a home, this church is a home, because we do not only dwell we do not only lay our heads, 
we do not only eat or be well inside. More than those things, we call everyone and everywhere home because God is there. God rests there. God is assuring us His closeness and love present there. Look around, my dear brothers and sisters. Remember your house. Remember people. Remember places. Remember experiences and memories. It's home for us. It's Bethel. It's God's home. And when we are at home, we are assured of God's presence, making us better, assuring us, and securing us. Please stand. God never intended us to die. He created us for life, but we chose death. Christ, our Redeemer, restores us to life, and we come to our Father praying through Him. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may be a symbol of God's healing work by its care for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The doctors and nurses and all those who care for the sick may show the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of these brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people suffering from poverty may be drawn to Jesus, who became poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may bind up hearts that are broken through our kind deeds and consoling words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass, the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us through our online streaming, our prayers for one another, and our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Please be seated. God, our Father, keep us healing from all evil, and let your goodness shine on us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
stand Let us pray Grant we pray O Lord that having been replenished by such great gifts we may gain the the price of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Amen. Oh, oh. 